Hey everyone, it's Spicy Nude here. Today I'm going to be showing you where to get the homing instinct painting and where to find the painter as well. To find the painting, you're going to have to look for Artist's Shack in Limgrave. You can find this by going north in the Ag Heel Lake. If you follow the canyon, you'll see a spirit spring jump and there you'll find the shack with the painting. To find the painter, you'll want to go to the Seaside Ruins site of Grace. This is very close to the very beginning of the game. After you go to the site of Grace, follow the ridge and you'll encounter this little graveyard. Go up to the ghost of the painter and he will drop the incantation scarab. I'm going to be showing you where to get the red main painting and where to find the painter as well. You're going to want to start in the Celia under stair side of Grace in Kaelid. After entering Celia, the town of sorcery, you're going to make a right and immediately towards your left, you're going to find the painting under this building. In order to find the painter, you're going to want to go to Dragon Baron Fork side of Grace. After getting to the side of Grace, head east towards the minor Erd tree where you'll see a spirit spring. After passing the spirit spring, you'll want to go to this jar here with a very jagged corner. As you can see, you can see the tree branch. I would recommend using Torrent in order to use the double jump that he has. From here, follow the tree branch down onto the broken pillar that you see ahead. As you can see, I've done it without Torrent up until now, but this part I would recommend that you use Torrent. This here is basically the last jump that you have to make. After you land on this branch, just walk downwards and you should be able to jump off with no problem. Walk up to this ledge and as the painter appears, he'll drop the Ash of War Rain of Arrows. I'm going to be showing you where to find the Prophecy painting where the reward is the Warhawk Ashes. This painting is in Stormvale Castle by the lift side chamber side of Grace. If you do happen to take a path similar to me, then I would recommend for you to quickly get the painting as the only courtyard will follow you into the building. The painter can be found just north of the Church of Pilgrimage in the Weeping Peninsula. Once you're at the church, you're going to want to head north towards the cliffside and the painter will be on the left hand side of this pillar. This one is for the resurrection painting. You can find this painting in the artist's shack west of the Carrion study hall on the east side of Lernia of the Lakes. This painting will require you to beat the boss at the Caria Manor and the side of grace is called behind Caria Manor. Once you reach the side of grace you're going to want to head southeast and hug the cliff side on your right hand side. A quick way to find this painter is to look for the Pride Rock looking formation as well as all the Albinoric that will be around this area. I'm going to be showing you where to get the Champion Song painting in Elden Ring. This painting is going to be in the east side of the Shaded Castle. The castle is located at the northern part of the Atlas Plateau. I made a tutorial on how to get to the Shaded Castle in one of my previous videos. I'll be sure to link that here. The way you're about to see me enter this building is by rolling through the side. However, you can just go through the bottom and you'll find a set of stairs that will take you to the painting as well. While you're here, feel free to loot these two bodies here. One will have a glass shard and the other will have a poison dart. The painter can also be found in the Atlas Plateau. The side of grace you'll want to go to is Rampart Side Path and it is east of the Sainted Hero's Grave. The painter will be southwest of the side of grace on the very top of the cliffside.
This one is for the sorcerer's painting. The castle soul is found in the northeastern section of the mountaintops of the giants. Immediately after entering the castle, you'll want to make a left, entering the room full of these slugs. From there, you'll want to climb the ladder and follow the path. This next part can be a little bit tricky. What you'll want to do is zigzag your way across in order to not get hit by the arrows. Once you make it past the first section, be wary because there's going to be another soldier shooting arrows as well. Unlike some of the other paintings, this painter is nearby. You can either get to the painter from the Castle Soul side of Grace or from the Snow Valley Ruins Overlook, which is what I'll be showing you today. From the side of Grace, you'll want to head directly west. As these enemies appear, you'll just want to keep running straight through. The last skeleton will try to Kamehameha you, you can just make your way around the right side in order to avoid his attack. Once you make it onto the bridge, it'll be the side on the left and the painter appear and you'll have your great hood. I'm going to be showing you where to find the flightless bird painting and painter. To find the painting and activate this quest, you're going to want to go to the fortified manor in Lanedale Royal Capital. This painter is said to have captured the landscape scene during the last moments of those welcomed into death's embrace. The soul of the painter and the vestiges of the death's last moments can be discovered by visiting the location depicted even now. The painter can be found in the northern part of the Atlas Plateau in the Windmill Village. The Dominula Windmill Village is found in Atlas Plateau. Despite the jolly portrayal of the celebrants, this place holds a sinister secret. You want to head up almost all the way up the hill, make a U-turn, and it will be behind the house on the left hand side. If this video helped you, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to learn more Elden Ring secrets.